What's up guys, it's Toasty here. So, today I wanted to bring you a video showcasing the Damascus camo on the Joker, as well as giving you guys some tips and tricks to do the camos as quickly and efficiently as you possibly could. Shipment, in my opinion, is the best map to do any of your camos, so as soon as it comes up in the playlist, just, uh, not abuse, but yeah abuse it so that you can get your cameras done as quick as possible that's how i did my damascus camo in under three days in under four in game days so let's get into the camos for spray paints it's just get kills i'm going to be showing you guys some spots where you can get these kills done a lot quicker and the joker can be kind of difficult because you have to lock on and you have to be a certain distance from the thing that you are locking on to so yeah for Woodland, it's get attacker kills. I'm going to be giving you guys some tips about that later. And Digital, I'm going to be giving you some tips later. For Dragon, it's destroy aerial kill streaks. So this just means that you have to destroy any kill streak that's in the air. For Splinter, we have destroy ground based kill streaks or vehicles. This can be tricky because people are like, oh, how must I do this when I can only kill the Sentry Gun, Shield Tyrants, and Wilson? But in fact, the VTOL, personal radar, and counter UAV also counts as ground kill streaks, so that makes it a lot easier to do. Your well, the personal radar is going to be your best friend while doing any launcher camo. It counts for basically all of the camos except the getting kill camos. So it's that's really going to be the one thing that you want to be looking out for. And it's such a low kill streak, so so many people deploy it, and it's just so easy to shoot down. It is a one shot. For Topo, it's destroy equipment kill streaks or vehicles. So this one can be difficult, but well, this one's actually the easiest to do. Sorry, because it's any equipment, so any claymores, anything that's on the ground, any kill streaks, just destroy them. For Tiger, we have destroy support kill streaks. These are the UAVs, counter UAVs, personal radars, VTOLs. It's basically anything that helps the player on the ground. I think that also counts for vehicles and ground kill streaks. I mean, yeah, vehicles and ground kill streaks. For stripes, it's just destroy kill streaks. You're going to be doing this normally, so don't actively go for this. It's not really important. For reptile, it's get kills while using the amped perk. This is going to be a clutch perk, a crutch perk, while you're doing your launches because it's always nice to have that increased launcher reload speed because launches take forever to reload in this game. For skulls, we have destroy vehicles. This one's simple, you just have to destroy. Well, actually, a lot of people struggle with this one because they say, like, oh, where must I find vehicles? They have to play Warzone, but no. You basic a vehicle is anything that is controlled by a person. So the county AV, the Wilsons, the UAVs, the VTOLs, the support helos, all of those count as vehicles. So the some of the things are weird in this game, but it's just that's the best tip that I can give you to do this as quickly as you can in multiplayer. So yeah, let's get into the class. For the primary, I use the riot shield so that I don't get shot in the back mostly, but it's it's basically just for just for protection. But you can use whatever primary weapon you want. Use I would suggest going for whatever weapon you're trying to get gold, and then as soon as you see some kill streak in the air, you just shoot it down. So yeah, for the perks, I use cold blooded, pointman, and amp. Cold blooded so I don't get killed by the kill streaks that I'm trying to shoot down. Pointman so that I can get points while I'm busy shooting these kill streaks down. So I don't have to necessarily get kills from this. It's it just it helps so much. And I'm for the well because it's camera challenge and for the increased rocket reload speed. For the lethal, we have the Semtex. This one can be a bit tricky because you you basically choose whatever you like. You know, I didn't really use these, so it doesn't really matter to me. For tactical, just use whatever you like. Maybe even a stun grenade so that you can get people off of you, so that you can kill the quick, you can kill the kill streak a bit quicker. And yeah, 
So now let's get into the spots that I'm going to be showing you guys where to do these camos. Well, the kill is a bit better. Okay, guys, Capture let me show you. The forward operating positions. Let me show you the spots where that I use to get the kills as well as attack and defender medals. So an attacker medal is you just have to kill anyone that's trying to capture any flag. Well, if well your flag or you know. So for A, I would recommend the spot, and you just you lock it onto that back wall there. It's it helps so much if you can do it this way, and yeah, that's an attacker medal on A. And for C, you can stand in this very corner, and you can aim at that back wall the explosive radius for the joker is really big so i think it's 15 meters so this it has a massive explosive radius and it does a lot of damage so you don't have to worry about potentially not killing them most of the time you will get the kills i've gotten many triples and quad feeds on shipments just by doing this these methods for this is a more risky one on a but it does normally guarantee you more kills because you can get shot from here as well as the center lane on B but this one is a lot more effective than the other ones so yeah so just lock onto that back wall over there and then launch it and you'll be done another attacker medal is if you stand in this very corner or even here anywhere basically where you can aim there you can even do it from here and then you aim for that back corner so in anything like that there isn't any lines on B that you can shoot from to actually get the rocket to go because it's too short of a distance a defender medal is when you capping a flag Securing out. and you kill someone that is trying to come to you so basically just kill people while you're standing We're taking on alpha. either flags or hard points so hard points and domination is basically the best game to do this in. thank you guys for watching please can you like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and i'm doing a giveaway 250 subscribers so please subscribe it's basically a free skin or a free battle pass just holding the subscribe button and yeah it means a lot thanks for watching guys